Idli are a type of savory rice cake. It is popular as breakfast food in southern India. The cakes are made by steaming a batter consisting of fermented lentils and rice. Welcome to Raji's Cooking Flavors. In today's video, I am going to share with you the secret to prepare soft and fluffy idlis. So let's get started. Into a bowl, add one and a half cup of idli rice or boiled rice. Then into it, add one and a half cup of raw rice. Add one tablespoon full of methi seeds. Add 1 cup of urdal into another bowl. Wash rice 2 to 3 times and soak in water for 8 hours. Wash urdal only once because the bubbles that will be seen after soaking urdal for 8 hours contain wild yeast which will help in fermentation and makes the idli soft and fluffy. Also adding a cup of cooked rice while grinding will also help in making the idli fluffy. I would suggest you to use a wet grinder for grinding if possible. Keep for fermentation for 8 hours. After 8 hours of fermentation, this is how the batter looks. Now take a idli plate and grease it with coconut oil or any other cooking oil. Pour the batter slowly into the plate one by one. Fill idli pot with two to three glass of water and keep for boiling. After boiling, reduce the flame to medium and keep the idli plate containing the batter into it. Close the lid and steam for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, open the lid. You can see that the idlis are cooked and are fluffy. Transfer it to the serving plate. You can enjoy it with your favorite chutney. Tips for the recipe. For 3 cup of rice, add 1 cup of urad dal. Soak rice and urad dal for minimum 8 hours. Make sure you wash urad dal only once before soaking it. Adding 1 cup of soaked poha or cooked rice while grinding will help to increase the fluffiness of the idli. If possible, grind in the wet grinder, which will prevent the batter from heating while grinding. If you are grinding in a mixer jar, never let your batter to warm up as it makes the idli harder. If you are in a cold location, adding 1 by 4 teaspoon of baking soda before keeping for fermentation will help in making soft idlis. So with these steps, I am sure you will be able to make soft and fluffy idlis. Thank you for watching. Try this recipe and let me know how it turned out. If you liked the recipe, give a thumbs up and subscribe my channel for more awesome recipes. Share it with your family and friends. Do not forget to leave your comments in the comment section below. I will be back with a new recipe in my next video. Until then, take care and have a good day.